Hey guys, good morning to you. you know all over the nation. Many are celebrating the great strides of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A man who was at the forefront of the civil rights movement and one who paid the price and would go the extra mile to see equality right here in this nation. Over the weekend, his kids made sure to honor his legacy. I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. would have turned 91 years old this past Wednesday, January 15th. His dream reshaped history, and his daughter Bernice King spoke about her father's biggest virtue at the King Center's Salute to Greatness Awards Gala over the weekend. Nonviolence as, em as embodied and taught by my father and mother is simply love in action. Bernice says the King Center, which is in Atlanta, teaches people year round about her father's principles of nonviolence. But around this time last year, it was shut down. Over the holiday weekend, the King Center had thousands of visitors, and Bernice says what her father would want today is love. Unconditional love would not allow police officers to act with unremitting aggression and shoot innocent people. On this day, many will reflect on the life of a legend who fought for peace. The eldest son of Martin Luther King Jr. followed in his dad's footsteps by speaking at the National Cathedral. Dr. King spoke there back in 1968, just weeks before his assassination. The one institution that must keep the flame of hope burning and alive is the church. That was true in 1955 when he delivered it. That was true in 1965 when we got the Voting Rights Act uh, passed. That was true in 1968 when fair housing legislation was passed. That is true this morning. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Well, today, as you celebrate a dream that still lives on, we want you to remember, as Dr. King would say, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Mike Pringley is standing by with a check of your morning forecast. Good morning to you, Mike. Hey, good morning, Brooks. Thank you.